What is up, YouTube? True YouTube, we're back at another video, man. You gotta keep it real to consider the deal, you feel me? Nah, man, I told y'all I dropped these 2020 fingers back to back while 2020, you feel me? Now nah, stop. We grind it all 2020. Now, today I got some more juicy content for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Today's is another story time. And today's story is gonna be about the first time I hit my progress report, okay? Now, report card, progress report, okay? Different story, okay? You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, you know what I'm saying? In all my videos, like the story times I do, they life lessons, bro. That's all, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all advice, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all information so y'all can use it. And y'all don't make the same mistakes that I made, too, you know what I'm saying? So any advice that I give y'all, you know what I'm saying? Use it, too, you know what I'm saying? Also, use your common sense, too. At that, use your common sense, so. Yeah, man, but this story is actually... It's pretty interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my stories is, they all interesting, you know what I'm saying? So, And they also leave a very good moral to the story, like, you know what I'm saying? Always have morals to the end of the story. Always, always have morals. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get into it. So back then, this took place when I was in fifth grade, <clears throat> and I forgot how old I was. I forgot the age I was, but this all occurred in after school and after school care. So right after the last class ended, it was like social studies that we had did whatever, right? And so we had, you know, took notes. You know what I'm saying? We just took notes that whole day. You know, that last period of class so right after that you know what i'm saying the teacher announced that he was gonna give uh he's gonna give us our progress sports and stuff and everybody was shocked like progress sports came out today you know what i'm saying everybody was shocked i was shocked i'm like oh crap what i get on my progress sport you know what i'm saying and i'll be real with y'all that quarter i was lacking like the first and second quarter i was doing my thing but the third quarter i was lacking bro like i just got lazy because i just thought like me as a young kid it was a lot of work and honestly they didn't give us that much work I just got lazy, that's all. <laughs> so, anyways though, right? Right after he said he was gonna give us our progress report and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, everybody was shocked, you know what I'm saying? I wonder what the hell I got on my progress report. Is it gonna be all dangerous of felon? All satisfactories? I don't know. Like, I'm I'm just, but I had it in my mind, like an image was gonna look like, like, oh yeah, I knew I act up, like, I knew it. And my, my parents was not gonna take that as an answer. They was not gonna take bad grades as an answer, trust me, bro. Even though it was a progress report, and I still had time to bring them up, but I gotta keep it consistent. I just can't lack, you feel me? And this is advice for you all teens out there, like, just don't have good grades in one quarter, you feel me? Keep it consistent in all four quarters, and you can, you know what I'm saying, graduate by the end of the year, period. Or any class, you so you can get promoted to the next grade. Keep it consistent, because that one quarter can really affect your, affect your whole year, trust me, so. Yeah, man. So, but anyways, though. Uh, I had lacked. I was lazy. I was like, you know what? In this third quarter, I'm like, no, I ain't gonna do my work. I'm just gonna be talking, you know what I'm saying? Just being lazy, you know what I'm saying? I usually slept in school, too. I, I, I ain't never tell my parents this either, but I usually slept in school, you know what I'm saying? I fall asleep during class and stuff, so. But <laughs> we're not gonna get to that. But anyways, though, um, today, you know what I'm saying? I was shocked. And he put, he passed out the, uh, the progress course or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about they got all satisfactories, you know what I'm saying? Excellent across the board and stuff. I look at mine, it's a different story. Like I but I knew I was right. Bruh. I had all unsatisfactories and one danger fell on my progress report, bruh. The only satisfactory I got, only two satisfactories I got was in gym and music. That was it. Gym and music, bruh. Yes, bruh. Literally, gym and music. I was like, what? You for real, bruh? Like why? Why? Like but I knew it. I'm like, I can't make no dumbass excuse. I already knew why. Like, and I was shy. I'm like, my dad see this. That's my ass, bro. For real. Like, <laughs> it's over, bro. But anyways, though, you know what I'm saying? Daycare, uh, or after school came around, whatever, you know? So, when after school came around, you know what I'm saying? Because school, we get out of school at 3.30, and after school don't end until, like, 6 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like, I'm looking at the progress where he gave me. I'm like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? I was just thinking of excuses I was going to tell my father or whatever, but no one did well, they're not going to work either. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, what? That's my ass. My, bro, that's my ass, bro. My dad going to give me a lecture and my mom. And not that. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you are you are not parents, is, bro. Especially with kids with black bag raised, bro. Like, no. Nah, the hell? They, they not going to tolerate that, bro. It's intolerable. That, like, that's not, they not going to tolerate bad grades in their house, period. That's just how my parents would. You know what I'm saying? And make your parents proud, bro. It don't matter what it is. Just make your parents proud, even when they have a bad day. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Academic-wise, you know what I'm saying? Responsibility-wise, you know, chores. 
household, all that, man. Siblings, you know what I'm saying? Grades, all that, man. Sports, sports, and it don't matter what what you doing. Just keep your parents proud. You know what I'm saying? Because when they see a parent, yo, when they see their kids doing what they need to do, that helps them out too, man. You know what I'm saying? When kids do what they need to do, so as the parents do. If their kids lack, then their parents lack. If their kids don't lack and stay consistent on their academics or they or their responsibilities, period, then their parents will stay consistent. You feel me? So you gotta think about like us kids or teens, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Us teens, we have an effect of our parents, like period, in general, no matter what age it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we can't lack. We gotta keep we gotta keep it up. So you know what I'm saying? So they can finish paying bills so you can get what you want, you know what I'm saying? If you lacking, the bruh, the parents lacking. They gotta stay home and watch you and see what you've been doing in school, talk to your teachers. And that's that's the time they can be working, you know, overtime and stuff, playing bills and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Putting food on the table and shit like that, you know, so like that's just another advice out there, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you don't lack and make sure your parents don't lack. Stay consistent, make sure your parents stay consistent, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Take that advice, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, though, right after, you know what I'm saying, I got my four car or whatever, you know, it's time for after school. So I was just all, like, pissed, but then kind of nervous, too, because I already knew what was going to happen. I knew it. I was trying to get, I was trying to create a res- resolution to the issue. But no, it didn't, well, none, of, none of my resolutions was going to help this situation that I was in right now. So, right after, um, you know what I'm saying, the last period, whatever, you know what I'm saying, we took notes, it was like, it was a long ass period, it's like one hour and 54 minutes, whatever, so, but anyways, uh, we got in the cafeteria, because that's where, uh, after school took place for us, was in the uh, cafeteria, and once we sat down in our science seats or whatever, you know what I'm saying, she told us to, t- uh, take out our textbooks or whatever, you know what I'm saying, we did a little tutoring too back then, you know what I'm saying, after school, you know what I'm saying, they always help the kids who were struggling or whatever, something like that, you know what I'm saying, and then after that, we had a little free time, you know what I'm saying? Right after we studied, did our homework, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? That was first. Then after that, you know what I'm saying? We had a little free time. We did, we colored, you know what I'm saying? Played Uno, all that. Uno was this, bruh. Uno is still the joint, bruh. If y'all don't play Uno, y'all weird, bruh. Uno is the, oh my God. I still play that joint to this day. But anyways, though, <laughs> enough about that. But uh, once we got done, you know what I'm saying? Doing our uh, priorities, like homework, we studied, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Got our textbooks out. You know what I'm saying? We read, study, all that stuff, right? So, the lunch, uh, or no, the after school teacher, uh, what should we call her? We'll call her Miss, uh, Miss E, okay? You know what I'm saying? Just for the sake of this video. We'll call her Miss E. So, Miss E was standing in front of the counter, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, literally in front of the kitchen counter, right? So, she's standing there and she announced that. She said that she wanted our progress reports. <laughs> she was like, everybody take out your progress reports, out your book bag, and hand it to me. Stay in the file line, just give it to me right in my hand. I'm like, oh, shit. I forgot. She do this every single quarter. And after school, right? And after school, when progress reports came out, she always made sure her, the progress reports was in her hand so she, she could show the parents to have a literally review it with the parents. Like, literally, dead ass serious, bro. Like, she used to always do that, bro. The first quarter. Okay, let me see her progress report. And then went to the parents come right and come swing up their kids whatever right and they reviewed the whole the whole thing even report cards progress reports and report cards like they reviewed the whole thing like oh, okay this is what you're struggling at weakness whatever or you know what i'm saying that's what they did with the kids and parents and stuff but and this the first and second quarter i was i was just doing good anyway like i wasn't worried i was like no yeah this ain't nothing my progress support and uh report was good for the first and second quarter but when that third quarter came Man, you talking about a dude was lacking? Like, my shit was all over the place. That bitch was off the grid. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. But anyways, though, right? So, you know what I'm saying? She started, you know what I'm saying? Get uh, Getting our progress person or whatever. And I was the last person in the line. Because I, I kept skipping the line. Or not, I, I kept letting people skip me. I was like, go ahead. You can go ahead of me. I just let people go ahead of me. I was trying to be the last person. Because I already knew who was up. I was trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Not... <laughs> i be the first one to get my progress report. I'm trying to be last one. Fuck shit. What do you mean? Like, but anyways, though, right? As soon as it was, as soon as my turn came up, I gave her my progress report and sat down, you know what I'm saying, real quick. <laughs> like, I was walking so quick. <laughs> bro, I was really shitting on my ass, bro. Like, I was nervous, bro. I walked so quick, you know what I'm saying? 
I ain't stare at the teacher. I ain't stare at no student. No eye contact. No direct eye contact. Because I knew it. I knew that even the students, I knew this was going to ask me about parts for, you know what I'm saying? You had the other students on the right of the table, on the right section of the table, talking about, oh, I got all satisfactory and excellence on my report card and my or progress report, not report card, progress report, right? It was like, my progress report, good. My parents are going to be so proud of me, especially my mom. You know what I'm saying? She said she's going to buy me the new retro Jordans that came out, you know what I'm saying? Back then, it was these Jordans that came out. It was retros. I forgot. I forgot the name of them. The sixes or some shit like that, but anyways, though, so... One day was talking about how good they probably sport was and shit, you know what I'm saying? And once they asked me that question, <laughs> I didn't want to tell my grades like, so I lied instantly. I, I lied instantly right in their face. I'm like, oh, I got all satisfactories on my, you know what I'm saying? I just lied, like, straight like that. All satisfactory, straight on my board. What are you talking about? Right? <laughs> I lied literally in their face, bro. Speaking of devil, too, right? Miss E called my name, literally. She called my name. She's like, so and so? I was like, huh? What? <laughs> and like, I couldn't hear her, right? She was like, come here. I'm like, oh, shit. I was nervous. I, like, <laughs> butterflies in my stomach, shit coming out my ass. Like, I was really nervous. Like, you know, you got bad grades and you just got that. And your, when your parents find out, you know, you got that weird feeling in your stomach. Like, uh, what's going to happen? How they going to react? You know, damn well how you know they going to react. You already know. So you might as well get ready for it, right? So anyway, she called my name, and she was like, What is this? I'm like, what you mean, Miss E? She was like, don't give me that. What is this on your progress report? You did good on first and second quarter, and now you lacking? What happened? I started making every excuse out the book. I was like, the teachers don't like me, man. They want to see me fail. That's why they hate me. They always try to set me up to fail. You know what I'm saying? The students don't like me. Everybody hate me in the school. I used to, bruh. That was my excuse when I told her, right? She was like, cut the excuses. What's the real reason? I was like, okay, I just got lazy. It's just too much work for me, right? She was like, you got lazy? Come on, man. She was like, you only got a satisfactory Jimmy music? That's it? What about all your other classes? You was good at math, science, all those. Now you got all dangerous fellas and unsatisfactory on there. Come on, man. She was telling me, right? She was giving me a whole lecture. Which I knew was happening. The teens gonna give me a lecture. My dad's gonna give me a lecture. My mom's gonna give me a lecture. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, crap. I knew this day was coming, right? So right after, literally, like when she reviewed my project board, I seen the look on her face like she was like, like met disappointed in me because like I was really consistent from the first and second quarter. Like I I didn't stop. And then but when the third quarter came, I just I was inconsistent, like, for real, man, like, and, like, <sighs> when she said, when she said, I'm gonna tell your dad, like, your dad needs to know about this, I'm like, what the hell, what you mean, like, you know, about to tell my dad, right, I'm like, what you mean, about to tell my dad, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, she looked at me, dead ass, looked at me in my eye, she said, your dad needs to know about this instantly. I'm like, oh shit, bro. I'm like, what? No, don't tell my dad. That's my ass. No, bro. <laughs> bro, I was like, just so like, I was just running through all emotions, literally. Like, like all emotions just started coming down my stomach, like literally. Like, I was mad, sad, nervous. Like, bro, all those feelings was coming. Like, I, I was literally like. Experience all those emotions like you don't ex bro. You don't understand like how nervous scared bro shocked I was with speech when she told me that I looked at her, like no, bro You're not gonna do it, bro. You're not gonna do it cuz you know why that's my ass And when my dad found out bro, especially my dad, bro, that's it, bro You are you know you had just had that one father that just don't play about you with your grades, bro. It don't duh, that bro That's how my dad was bro like literally Strict as hell on grades, bro. Period. All my brothers, bro. It don't matter, bro. He don't let neither one of us slack. If we lack on our academics, bro, that's our ass, bro. He taking everything away, bro. He don't even gotta. He don't even gotta whip us, bro. He look, bro. That's it, bro. When I when was younger, bro. That's it, bro. So right after that, right, literally when she told me that, so 30 minutes went past. Whenever you know what I'm saying. 
that's when we had lunch or whatever. And then when lunch went past, right? I was like, you about to hit 6 o'clock. And that's when they start swinging up, you know, swinging their kids or whatever. They're going to start picking up their kids, you know what I'm saying? Sign them out and they're going to hit the door. So I'm like, bro, I got to create like some type of scenario, some type of resolution to for this problem. And then a light bulb clicked, right? I was like, oh, I was like, hold up, hold up. I come clutch in situations like that, which I thought I came clutch in that situation, right? I'm like, I might as well just hit, hide the, hide the uh, progress report under the table, under the kitchen table, and she won't see it. So I'm like, oh yeah, she ain't gonna see, she ain't gonna see shit. She definitely not gonna show my dad. Hell no, you got me messed up, boy. So literally, I was sneaky, right? Right when she went back in the kitchen to, to pass out the mix, right, milks, whatever, you know what I'm saying? She passed out some, she was going to get some chocolate milk or rice milk, some shit like that, right? So, I hid that bitch under the table. I was like, oh, I can't clutch, man. Like, I didn't know. I thought I was so good. I thought I was not going to suffer any consequences whatsoever. Thought wrong, bruh. I sat back, I sat my ass back down, right? Right after I got finished eating. My, right after all the parents came to pick their kids up, my dad swing through the door, bruh, literally. I'm like, crap, right? I'm just like, who? Please, God, have my back. Come on. What I, what I need to do, right? Bruh. No, bruh. No. No, bruh. Literally, like, when I say, when I see my dad, I was nervous. Like, really nervous, bruh. Like, I was so shook, like, when he walked through that door, and I, he like, he had a bad day at work or some shit. So I really did not want to piss him off, especially about no grades, bruh. No, bruh. No. Unnecessary. No, bruh. That's it. Like, if you see them grades, it's just over. Like, like at this point, I was like speechless, right? So I'm like, no, but still, I had counted myself. Like, no, she still ain't gonna find it. I'm cool. She's not gonna look for the progress for anyway. You know what I'm saying? And once she called my name and said it was time to go, right? So I'm like, oh, bet. So I got my, you know what I'm saying? I got my book bag and stuff. Put my textbook away, you know what I'm saying? Signed out, you know what I'm saying? I was rushing to the door, like, literally running. I was like, all right, Dad, come on, let's go. Literally ran. She's like, Missy was like, wait, hold up. Mr. So-and-so. Oh, I, I forgot. I didn't show your son's progress report. When she told him that, I'm like, you know you did not just do that. You know you did not just do that. But I knew she was gonna do it anyway. Like, what, what did I expect? Like, come on, man. My dad had that look on his face. He's like, oh, progress report? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. So, right. I'm like, let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a couple of deep breaths. You know what I'm saying? Inhale, exit. Right. I'm like, oh, all right. Come on, we in a clutch moment right now. Let's 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 see if I'm clutch, okay? If I'm if I'm clutch, then I'm good. If I'm not clutch, that's my ass, bro. So she was looking for it, right? She like, where did I put your progress report? I literally put Saturday right here on the counter with the others. She was like, so and so, do you know what happened to your progress report? I'm like, no, ma'am. I gave it to you literally on when I was standing right in front of the desk. I gave it to you, ma'am. I was like, here. I handed it to you. I don't know. I like in my head, if you lost it, that's your fault. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's your fault you lost it. Hey, bro. She went in the whole area. She was looking for that boy. Like, literally, she was looking under the table, like, going to classrooms, looking for it, like, for real. She's like, did you throw it away? I'm like, no, I didn't ball it up and throw it away. I didn't do nothing. I didn't hide it or nothing. I didn't hear nothing. I laid sat it right there on that desk, like you said, right? She started looking through under tables, bruh. More and more, bruh. Every table. Every kitchen table, bruh. And when she got to that spot, bruh. Once she got to that one table, bruh. That I wish she never went to, bruh. Oh my gosh, bruh. You won't believe it. Guess what she did, bruh. You won't believe it, bruh. Go out, but look. Alright. She took that boy under. From underneath the table, bruh. She's like, oh, here's your progress report right here. How did it get there? I'm like, oh, I, I was just making up an excuse, looking dumb. Right? I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what happened to that progress report. I didn't, 
Hey, I didn't know you. I gave it to you, Miss E. Right? Lion. Lion, my ass all right. Dad looked at me, right? I looked at him. I was like, I gave it to her dad, right? I gave it to her, right? That's why I told my dad. So I'm like, all right. Like, come on. That's not my fault. That's her, right? My dad was like, he, you can just tell that look that he give you. Like a father, you know what I'm saying? He don't, he was intimidated. Like you, bro, you know when your, you know, your dads know when kids really effed up. They know that. They give you that look. Like, come on. They know when you lying, bro. They give you that, that suspicious look. They be like, all right, bro. Stop with the bullshit and just, come on. Speak up. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Don't make no lies or nothing. Don't sugar, sugarcoat nothing, right? He gave me that look. Like that malicious look, that menacing look, like, oh my god, bro, you don't know, bro, for real. And so, so that's when Miss E started reviewing her, you know what I'm saying, a practice work to my dad. And when he gave it to her, he was like, I was so disappointed in your son, sir, right? When she said she was so disappointed, right? And the reaction my dad had when he seen that paper, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. When he seen that paper, bro, he was like, he gave that like, look, right? That surprise look. That shock look. That speech look. That, I didn't know you could do this look. Like, for real. Like, I'm like, alright. I told my dad the same thing. Dad, the teachers don't like me. The kids hate me in here. They want to fail me, man. The teacher, none of the teachers in that school would like me, bro. I would tell them all these lies. These excuses. You Knowing damn well, them excuses are not going to cut anything, bro. Right? So, Right after that, we left, right? We left out the door. He gave me that look. We went outside. He was like, that Xbox 360, that's it, it's throwing away. Or I'm going to sell it. Give me that Xbox 360. Give me all your shoes. That's I'm done. That's it. You ground, that's it. I'm done, bro. You go in your room, bro. I don't care, bro. You studying all night. You writing an essay about you should not never lie to me ever again. I literally had to write an essay, right? About like 500 times, literally saying... I should not lie to my parents, right? My arms is tired as hell, bruh. That's and when I got home, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And when my mom got out of work, when he right after my dad gave me that long ass lecture talking about, bruh, you were consistent all year. And what happened when the third corner came, huh? You just lacked, huh? So you thought I wasn't just gonna check you on that, huh? Well guess what, bro? You gotta get a reality check today, bruh. I looked at home. Right now, it's a crying, right? Crying, bro. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to expect. Just writing. My mom came to the door. You know what I'm saying? She looked at me, shook my head. She's like, I am so disappointed in you. That's it. Like, <laughs> that's it, man. Like, I was shook as hell, bro. That whole weekend, because it was a Friday, too. I forgot to tell y'all. It was a Friday that everything took place. I, bro, all this weekend, I was going to hoop. I was going to I was gonna go to my cousin's house and have fun, bro. Like, literally, bro. That weekend was messed up, man. Like, for real. It was shitless. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Had no fun whatsoever. I was on punishment. That's it, bro. I was on punishment, bro. But, for, but literally... From that time, like literally from that moment, I I knew, right? So I thought to myself, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna make this mistake ever again in my life. Especially lie and make excuses as a young man. Period. Cause when you cause that by the age I am right now, no young man or even a grown man, I'm just like for y'all males out there, man, don't make excuses, period. It don't matter. Admit it. If you effed up, you effed up, period, man. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Period. And the moral of the story is, you know what I'm saying? Fess up. Be honest. Period. Honesty is the best policy, man. For real, man. Take that quote from True, man. You know what I'm saying? From True W, man. You know what I'm saying? Be keeping it real in here. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you got to conceal that deal, bro. You got to conceal it no matter what, bro. You got to fess up, period. So what you expect? So you, so you think just because... You did good the first two quarters or like the first three quarters or whatever how quarters whatever you know what i'm saying the first three quarters you think that your parents not gonna really do a back check you think your parents not gonna do 
they do diligence on you. No, you, bro, you got it messed up. They're going to do their research on you. They're going to ask you questions. You know what I'm saying? They're going to interrogate you no matter what. They're going to do that. They're going to antagonize you, bro. They're going to be asking you questions on how you doing in each class. And you got to be honest with them. Tell them the class that you pass and the class that you're not passing. Tell them, tell them that the class that you're failing. Oh, I'm failing math. Oh, I'm failing language. So they can help you. Like, any class that you need help in, you know what I'm saying? Ask for help. Get tutors, man. You know what I'm saying? But not just for academic wise, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just just be honest in any situation. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Not just in academics. Just just be honest in every situation you come by. Like, if you lied about stealing your parents' money, then you lied. If you lied about smoking weed, then you lied, bro. Like, you, you can't lie about it. You can't lie about any situation that you come to. Because they gon' the parent, them parents are not just there just to cradle you. You feel me? Not just to spoil you, you give you money. No. They there to help you. They literally there to teach you some advice. To drop juice for you every day. Why do you think they just they just don't work for you? Why do you think they just be sitting here at home too on their off day? Come on, man. It's common sense, bro. Like they they came to help you out, bro. For real. They want to make sure that you are the best of yourself that you are possibly can be, bro. For real. Excuse my excuse me. I probably can't talk right, but you know what I'm saying. It's been. I just had to tell y'all that, like. Thinking back at it, like, this, this, that story was really, really crazy. Like, I was really, like, I thought I was really this shit. Like, I was not going to get caught. Like, and that's why I just can't bring out my words because, like, nothing can explain on how much shit I was through back then. Like, I can't explain it. But there, I explained it for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I hope... I hope y'all take this, you know what I'm saying, as a life lesson. Please, bro. Be honest with your parents. Be straight up with your parents. If you need help with anything, not just school. With school or college, it don't matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could be a grown man watching this. You, bro, it don't matter. You need help with bills, bro. Don't matter, bro. That's all I can tell you. Period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be honest with your parents, you know what I'm saying? Tell them everything, you know what I'm saying? Every situation that happened don't matter so you know why you know why you telling them them situations so they can tell you what's wrong and right that's it to tell you the right thing and the wrong thing period you know what i'm saying they're gonna tell you not to do the wrong thing and they're gonna protect you through all obstacles no matter what you know what i'm saying because when they when they tell you the wrong thing they tell you those for a reason so you won't do it the right things of course man so like you got to think of it like every situation you learn from and when you tell your parents about it and y'all have a discussion a couple of years later and y'all talking about it y'all laughing you know what i'm saying y'all think it's hysterical because hysterical because you know why you learn from it period man and i hope y'all enjoy this video man i love y'all man peace man trick up you out bro